Hey everyone, I'm Drew from NWA3D and we're going to go over how to install the NWA3D A31E into Ultimaker Cura. Now, the first thing that you want to do is download Ultimaker Cura from their website or get it from your SD card. And once you've got it downloaded, what you want to do is you want to go to the Add New Printer screen. Now, if you've already got it installed, you can click on your printer and then click Add Printer to get to it. Once you get to your printer, we're going to go ahead and click Custom and then type in the NWA 3D A31E. Once we've got that typed in, we'll go ahead and click Add Printer. Now we need to set our printer settings with the correct parameters for it to print correctly. So we need to have our heated bed checked. We need to have our G-code flavor changed from Marlin to RepRap. And then we need to change our X, Y, and Z to 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. Once we get all of those values changed, then we're ready to double check on our extruder values. So we're going to go ahead and go over here and click on this extruder 1 tab and change the nozzle size to 0 0.6. We also need to double check that our compatible material diameter is 1.75. The default is 2.85, so make sure that's changed because all the values from our G code get changed by each of those values. Now all these are on our user manual, or you can pause the video if you want to check them out. We'll go ahead and click Finish. And then now we're ready to load our NWA 3D A31E profile. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click up here where it says Fine. And when we click on our profile, we can click from Recommended to Custom and back and forth. We're going to go ahead and go to Custom, and then click from Profile, click where it says Fine, and go to Manage Profiles. Now here, we're going to plug our SD card into our computer, and then we're going to click Import. From there, we're going to navigate to our SD card to be able to print. Now once our printer, our SD card is inside of our computer, we can go ahead and click Cura. And then from Cura, we're going to click the 0.6 NWA 3D A31 normal quality profile. Go ahead and click Open, and then OK. Now once we've got it loaded, we need to go ahead and click on our value and click Activate. Once we've activated it, we're going to go ahead and click Close. Now you can see right here we have our printer, we have our material, and then we have our settings. And you can click and expand any of these by clicking on them. So now we're ready to load our, our file. So we can go ahead and click open here, and we can open a file from any CAD program, or you can get STL files from your SD card. We'll go ahead and open the threaded capsule. And then when we click open, what we'll do is we can actually click on our model and we can move it around. So we can click move, and we can move our model to where we want it on the build plate. You can click scale if you'd like to scale it and make your model smaller or maybe much larger in size, or you can keep it the value that you originally designed it at. You can also click rotate as well. And these models intentionally come in at weird angles so you can practice rotating them and moving them around. And you can hold the right mouse button and actually rotate your view to a different angle. And you can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse as well. So to rotate a model, we're gonna click on the circle and then when we, once we click on that corresponding circle, we'll click it and drag it around to where we need it to go. There we go. Now this one's standing up, and it's ready to print. We could put as many models as we wanted on this build area as long as they turn yellow. If they're outside of the build area, or maybe they are way too large, let's say I move this up to 1,000%, it's going to put these yellow and gray lines through it, and it will not slice. So you have to make sure that your model is 3D printable. Now, if you change your model back down, you can see this is floating up in the air, and it's automatically going to make supports up here, but we want to move that back down to the build plate. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my move and then click on Z and say 0. Then that will put my model right back on the build plate. Now, to slice it for 3D printing, we just click Slice right here, and as soon as it's done, 
All we have to do is save it directly to the SD card, put it on our printer, and we're ready to print. But there's a couple more things that I want to show you. So you could just save it straight to the removable drive and get it ready to go. But let's say I wanted to print this out of a different material because that's one of the awesome things about the A31e is you can print in multiple materials such as flexible TPU or PETG. So I can click down here where the name of my model is and in, instead of this regular uh, titled threaded capsule, I can go ahead and put PETG. And then now, I'll know that when I go to print this from my SD card, that is going to be named PETG. So when I save it to my removable drive, it will be named PETG. Now there's different types of settings that you'll want to set each one of the different materials to. You either change the temperature or the build plate, or in some cases, possibly even the speed or the retraction settings. If you look on your SD card, go ahead and open up my fuse deposition modeling filament information, or inside of my user manual, we'll find all kinds of awesome information about different types of materials. So here's PETG right here. We've got the temperature as 245C plus or minus 10 degrees and the bed at 60C plus or minus 10 degrees. Now that plus or minus 10 degrees is about your room temperature as well as what type of pigment is in the filament. So lighter color pigments are actually going to print at a little bit cooler temperature and the more pigment a filament has, the little bit hotter it might need to print at. So you can kind of adjust that and see what's going to work best for you. But I'm going to change both of these values from 245 and 60 from the default values. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Cura. I'm going to change my material from PLA and you can see generic right here. I can scroll down to PETG. So I've changed my material from my generic PLA to my generic PETG and then I can click on my different types of profiles and I'm going to scroll down to where it says printing temperature. Now this is in the recommended to custom area and I'm going to change my printing temperature to 245. Now once I change my printing temperature to 245 then we're going to be ready to print. Now we already have our bill plate temperature set at 60 degrees C so we don't have to worry about that and if you ever want to see different types of values you can actually click on your material right here in this in this top tab and you can actually hide and make different values visible or not. So I can scroll down here and I can make sure that I can go all the way down to my build plate temperature and I could activate that and all I would have to do is check that box and I could scroll all the way down here and check it and then I would be able to change my build plate temperature box. You can also enable your retraction right here too and that's what we, we talked about our flexible TPU. We'll have to disable the retraction by clicking on that checkbox. Now retraction is really important with all other materials so you want to make sure it's checked with other stuff but with TPU it can cause the filament to actually pull back into the extruder and cause a jam. So we want to make sure that that's not checked when we're printing in TPU. Now if you have any questions on different materials you can find more information on our website or contact us anytime for help. Mm -hmm.